In this video, we're going to learn how to use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP is a great function which is used to look up data from a data range which is displayed vertically. In this example, we're going to populate the column with the employee's office locations, which are located in a separate worksheet. I can of course populate the data manually by clicking back and forth between worksheets, but if I have a lot of data, this will take a long time and I may incorrectly enter the data. For ease of reference, I have shaded the cells I want to populate using VLOOKUP light green. To use the VLOOKUP function to populate the table with the office location, click in a cell where you want the data to be displayed. In this example, I'm going to click into cell C4. Type the equal sign followed by VLOOKUP to bring up the function. The first argument is to select the lookup value. In this case, the lookup value is the name of the employee. So I'll click on a cell with the first employee name, which is cell A4. It is important to note that the lookup value must always be laid to the left-hand side of the data we're looking for. As we want to find the office location for each employee, the lookup value must be to the left of that column and not after it. Type a comma to move on to the next argument, which is to select the table array. The table array is the cell range which contains all of the data we want Excel to look through. In this example, the table array is on a separate worksheet. Click on a worksheet with the table array and select the entire cell range, making sure you do not select any of the headings. Stay on the worksheet with the table array and type a comma to move on to the next argument, which is to select the column index. The column index refers to the numeric order the column you want Excel to look through is located. For this example, I've shaded the column index light green. This column is the fourth column along from the table array. So I'll type the number four in the argument. Once again, type a comma to move on to the final argument, which asks whether we want an approximate match by typing true or an exact match by typing false. As we want an exact match, we'll type false. Press enter to complete the function. We're now back onto the worksheet we want to populate and Excel has populated the cell with the office location. Now let's make the table array absolute so that Excel will only look at that worksheet cell range to locate the data. To do this, highlight the table data range, which in this example is cells A5 to E45, and press the F4 key on your keyboard. We can tell the range is now absolute or locked because of the dollar signs. To populate the rows for the rest of the employees, either drag the cell down from the bottom right hand corner or hover over it until you see a plus sign and double click. Excel has correctly populated the office locations of the employees. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.